the three homicide detectives who had been gunned down on duty while working the case in 1989, 1990, and 1992, respectively, all unresolved. Perry Ferris, 1994, died in a freak car accident, a Mormon, never touched a drop of alcohol in his life. Car meets tree, Jim noted, R.I.P. Detective Ferris's autopsy shows a 1.3 level of alcohol in his blood. It's ruled an accident. Robert Hardison and Charles Klaus, 1996, they disappear on duty without a trace. No one worked the Anderson-Kaiser case for several years until Detective Arthur Berto bravely took it on in 1999. In 2000, seven months after he initiated his investigation, he was cleaning his gutters at home and he somehow fell off his ladder, suffered a massive head injury and went into a coma for three months and died of complications due to pneumonia. The last file was Jim's. James Conroy took on the Anderson-Kaiser case after a 10-year lull, shot to death in an alley behind the Wonderland movie palace. He had been working the case for six months to the day. Nothing linked these incidents together but circumstance. <laughs>